we'll see how it uh, turns out in turn three. Coming up. All right. The video's happening now. I'm just going to zoom in on a Dan's face just so that we can all see what he looks like for you two. Looks like an enormous <laughs> Reese's monkey. Anyway, uh, back to the real action. It was uh, Dark Elves turn three, I believe, and uh, we had a bit of a brutal combat here with the uh, Witch Elves going straight into the White Lions. As you can see, only five White Lions left. We actually killed three, uh, four of those Cursed Elves and done one wound on his Death Hag uh, BSP. If I can take her out in the next turn, that'll be great. Now, the Prince, uh, interestingly enough, with his lone uh, companion here fighting the other Death Hag, didn't inflict any wounds on him because he passed all of his 4 plus ward saves, and uh, luckily I passed all my armor saves as well, beating him in combat because I had the outnumber, but he uh, passed his check. Uh, elsewhere, uh, I've lost my mage, unfortunately, to a spell. He got uh, Blade Wound over, off, which uh, took her last wound off. She had purposely been wounded by a miscast. And uh, elsewhere in the field, uh, when High Elf's next turn comes up, it's going to be some action around the left-hand flank. Only problem with this is that... I am not going to be able to get these chariots yeah. and uh, knights around to help out uh, in the preceding combats mm -hmm. for as long as I'd like. Exactly. But we'll find out what happens shortly with that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we're on turn three. Is that right? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, that was turn three. Okay. Um, things are turning out to be very interesting. We've got a, uh, a raging combat in the centre where only three white lines are left. What happened is the uh, cowardly BSB declined the challenge and um, she's already taken a wound. So that's what's happening. The white line, the champion in the middle, is heroically fending off... Looks like a couple dozen uh, witch elves there. Chance rallied. Over on the other side here, the um, again, the cowardly dark elves have, have fled. Uh, the, the cold ones have rallied. The uh, chariot is fleeing at the back there. Hydra uh, has actually survived. The Hydra's lost its handlers, but it's, it's turned back around. Probably uh, the forest is blocking the, the charge range of the prince, but speaking of the prince, he's lost his companion. He's still on one, he's lost one wound. The hag's taken a wound. Finally, have actually managed to get some hits through the ward saves. Um, over, in the, over in my side of the table here, we've got the spear, which has been uh, drastically reduced by shooting. Still a, a character in there. And uh, the Dark Riders don't exist anymore because they got shot to pieces. Same with the Harpies, actually. There was quite a good play with the, uh, the Longbowmen here firing onto the hill. That allowed all, like, ten of them to shoot. And uh, long range skirmishes with spies to hit. I rolled about six hits and wounded with five of them. So that was pretty impressive. And uh, we'll call it uh, your next turn, turn four. All right, just filming because we've come to, come to a very brutal combat here. I've just challenged the Death Hag with the Prince, and the Prince fluffed all his attacks. Well, and he's he's made both the the so here's the attacks back from the Death Hag onto the Prince. What have we got? Um, we've got a poison. Oh, it was one poison and hatred for the second uh, second round. Do I get yep, hatred? So four this pluses. Oh, still got all of the hits. And Looking very poison. bad for the Prince. And um, two wounds. So four saves. Four wounds. Four wounds. Okay. So grab into the <laughs> Let's see if I can make all of this. He's got the Helm of Fortune, so he might be able to survive this. Uh, passes all of his uh, saves. So that's a three. Got a five over here. A six. Oh, what's his save? And a two. He's one plus. Oh, How do you like that? Four. All right, that was turn four for the Dark Elves. And the uh, Spearman have moved a little bit closer over here. Nothing's really happened. The magic face has fizzled out right. with a lot of fails. Very poor. Um, the two courageous white lines still ru are rucking away there, but there's no uh, champion there, so they're probably going to be finishing up shortly. Um, the prince, as you just saw, uh, survived, and uh, the combat has been drawn pretty much all game. Over here, the uh, battle banner actually rolled a six, but the uh, Colmanite still passed the break test. Unfortunately, there's a, there's a hydra nearby, so things are looking very interesting over here. Um, we'll see how things go after the next turn. All right, uh, looking really rough, actually. This is the uh, end of turn four for the High Elves. We had a uh, charge here where I very barely managed, after fluffing all of my rolls, killed a uh, spearman and killed the sorceress in there. Mm. Uh, the white li lines have heroically held their own here and killed the BSP, so that got me some points. The general, yet again, his uh, helm has saved them, so one wound, and the combat's drawn once again. But um, the turning point is over in the left-hand side of the battlefield here for me. With the BSB just absolutely can't can't roll the same save himself, failing all of my, my rolls here with the armor saves and breaking. He's captured the banner and uh, the Cold Knights are free on the flank. Haven't even killed a single guy. So uh game's turning out to be very close. It could actually be a draw, but um, got a couple of turns left for the Dark Elves to uh, get it in the bag. And that is about it. Anything to add to that, uh, Philip? Uh no. 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 Alright. Let's, let's, let's go straight to uh, yeah. critical crossroads in the battlefield. It's um Dark Elf's turn five and we're in the magic phase and uh the High Elf sorcerer saw uh, mage rather, uh mage yes, don't really know what to call her, has got the trick pendant. And we're about to see a black horror from this focus familiar over here coming through down the line, and as you can see this uh this big template's probably gonna hit all of my guys because it's just wide enough. Now Phil is throwing caution to the wind. Four dice, probably four dice, power darkness. What is it gonna be? Blade wind. Oh, 
total oh, power. He gets it. All right, so uh, I think I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be it for the high elves. No way I can stop that. Well played, Phil. Dice have been with you the whole game. So, uh, well, Mostly. most of it. Most Mostly. of it. So, so it goes 3d6 inches forward, doesn't it? Or 2d6? Um, no, it's a, a place in tier play anywhere within 18 inches. Oh, you just, just, just place it? Yeah, just place it. Okay. And uh, anything it touches. Okay. Anything it touches must pass a strength test or suffer a wound. Okay, so you've got, um, if you want to get the chariot, yep. you'll get four archers. One of them will survive. Yep. Cool. Um, or you could just get all, all the archers, but um, miss the chariot. And get the eagle? Yep. Well, the chariot's strength five, isn't it? Tough, tough, uh, or strength. It's a strength test. Strength test. Got me there. Just going to have to turn the camera off. All right, false alarm, guys. Sorry that uh, big, blue, big black horror wasn't quite the crossroads of the battle that I thought. Uh, only killed a couple of archers, and the rest of the magic phase fizzled out. So... Oh, but it had the potential. If that unit of archers had gone, uh, and the chariot and eagle had taken wounds, if I got in that far. Yeah, maybe. I think I think you've got this game, uh, unless something miraculous happens on the high off side. We've got the cold one knights um, marching around, threatening, but um, hopefully well, something miraculous them. happens with your rolling. Well, um, the the prince still can't even kill one puny little hag with one wound left because that ward save just keeps going she off. Cannot fail the ward save. In fact, she's only failed one one ward save out of what about twenty? Yeah. Yeah. And the obviously Should the white lines have been destroyed in that turn. Finally, so uh, let's get to the next turn. All right, I think the prince has got one more chance to, to save himself in combat. Now the Cauldron of Blood's given killing blow to the Death Hag. He's in a challenge with the Death Hag. Drain Life has just gone off and actually killed the Repeater crew and massacred the Witch Elves. So last laugh there from the Mage Prince. Mm -hmm. But there's four more attacks, come on, needing to hit the Death Hag. Um, now, what is her weapon skill? Let's find out. It's six. It, the Death Hag is? Yes. You sure? Yes. Absolutely sure. Mm -hmm. So that's two, three hits then. I always thought that she was a bit higher than that. No. Okay, so three's to wound. Two wounds! Come on, ward safe. You've got to make two of them. And you've made 20 of them so far, so just pick up two dice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Thank God. She's killed. Okay, break test. For the decisive, um... Yeah, you're stubborn. This yep. is stubborn on eight. No. Okay, so combat rage is on, but you don't get to killing blow me now because the challenge uh, was in effect. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Phil. It's a game breaker. Finally got it. Finally got it. That one's still now. Welcome back, boys and girls. Any <laughs> girls watching? Apparently, according to my uh, YouTube stats page, um, I'm getting up to about 15% or something of actual actual women watching my page. Can you believe it? Right? It's it's crept up from about five percent. Anyway, these uh, <laughs> these gold one knights have charged my archers who have fled, and now I have to rally them up on turn. This is the last turn for the dark elves, and we'll be following up with the last turn for the high elves. Um, the level 4 Supreme Sorceress has actually cast a, um, a spell over here which has wounded my lone mage here and uh, that's half points for her. And uh, finally the victorious prince who has carried the game has destroyed the Cauldron of Blood single-handedly. So this guy pretty much goes in the record books. He's, that was like a, an 8 round combat, wasn't it? He's uh, just well, they've been in combat just... since the second turn. Yeah, so that's, that's a long combat. And uh, now we're going to follow up with the final um, high off turn and then we'll uh, bring you a game. It's looking like a draw so far. Unless yeah. I can get get very close to. Unless you can miscast with your mage, which yeah. would be awesome. Which would be awesome. Yeah. So let's uh, let's see what happens next. Okay, uh, we just finished the game, so good game. Uh, let me talk you through it. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Um, did try shooting at the Cobra Knights, but I only killed one of them. Didn't fail the panic check, so it's not even half strength here. Shot quite a bit at the uh, witch elves. Didn't actually clean them out, so doesn't I don't get full points for that. Really, that forest was the uh, centre point of my game. Yeah. <laughs> would have been toast if it hadn't been for um, We're about to go to the points, the scorecards, and we'll tell you the result. Um, it's looking to me like a, a pretty close draw, but um, Phil might even have the advantage over, over, the, over, the, um, over the elves, the high elves, but um, we'll tell you shortly after we've gone to the scorecards. Thank you. <whistles> Filming? Yeah. Cool. So we worked out the results. There was... Um, 990 worth of uh, Dark Elves left in the field, there was 884.5 left of High Elves on the field, so Phil, uh, just in terms of whacking stuff, dead, uh, came out on top, but what really clinched the game was the fact that we've got a table quarter over here for the repeat crossbows, we've got a table quarter for the Hydra, technically, because you're the strength 5, these two are contested, 
and um, that's what gave it to me. He's, he's got a, a banner here for the uh, White Lions and the BSB. Well, that was not technically contested, but there's nothing in it big enough. No, to, right, and I've got a banner isn't... from the, um, the, the Spear Elves, the Dark Elves. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's a minor victory just scraping in there for the Dark Elves. I um, really enjoyed this game. Well, I'm happy with that because that's the first time I've beaten you. That's the first time Phil's beaten me. and well, that's the perfect time. The, the it's perfect the first time, game you first, video. first video of Battle Royale. And I've yeah. got to say, this is the best game that I've played um, in a very, very long time. And I play Warhammer just about three games a week these days, so... Um, excellent stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the report. See you again with another one of these. Uh, maybe later on, I have to, have to use the actual A list rather than the B list. <laughs> a list. Yeah, me try, too. Try me. Oh, yeah, I'll use my A list too. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Cheers.